it were, were chilling in the room like we are chilling, you know what I mean? And then we had a bang and all this pasa pasa and the, and, and the cursing and everything I go on. So I sent my little brother to go into my car to bring me, you know, to bring me um, my clothes or something so I could change or anything. Oh, and then he went, he met the fracas. They hit him in, on the lips, took my car key, sat in the car to speed it up. If not for my bodyguards, my security, you know, they would have driven my car away and that would have been something else and all the fracas around it. But guess what? We all know we're here, we saw. One, Hansen Nana Isiyama, who's been accused of the murder of Fennec, you know? May he so rest in peace, late Kwakese's manager. And we all saw what happened. He was arrested and all. He has that dent on him already. And guess what? Brought people to attack, to attack us. Five, six, whatever, number of people to attack us. As I speak, my manager, Black CD, is dealing with the situation, and I, I don't know how far it is. But yeah, basically we're here. We're watching. Whatever the reason be, whatever the reason is not, I cannot tell. I only came to do my show, to perform, and uh, got attacked. Whose car is it? Why would they want to take the car from your little brother? We have to, we have to hear it from Bulldog. It's my car. I sent him to get something for me, and they attacked him. This is Shams. They walked in. People saw them. People came to the rescue. My security guards had to fight to get my key. My, it was all the fracas. The fracas was on. The suckers was on. And I think, listen, one thing I have to say is that, you see, in this country, I think so many people are taking the laws into their own hands because I think that um, certain people in authority um, 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 probably give them their supports. And maybe probably because they are acquainted or they are familiar with some heads or some personnel who can probably call a shot so they do whatever they want to do you know what i mean like how can you attack an innocent boy like me like my little brother who knows nothing nobody even knows him hit him on the mouth came with a gang my team my security the whole fracas he almost stopped the show but guess what this show is not going to stop like i speak i'm going to be on in a few to support my boy that's my little brother come that's my little brother that's my little brother. Look at his lips. Film it as he goes. Film it. What happened to yeah. you? What what he was what, what, in, the, in the lip? Okay. Actually, I was sent to to get something in the car, and then I came across these two guys for which I don't even know them, and then one questioned me. He was like. The Why are you off to? And, and I told him I was sent to bring something up, and then he was like, "Yo, bring the car key." And then I know for sure the car doesn't belong to him, so I didn't give him the khaki. I was about, I was struggling with him, and then I I saw right. That's another one. My security personnel, you see him on stage with me every time. Look at his face was beating and all of that. You see that? Right. Some eyewitnesses also spoke to Joy News. Yeah, in here, then we heard that uh, there was noise outside there, so that we hear that people are shouting. Bulldog came with some guys there, yeah. So we all tried to check what happened. So when I get outside, I saw them. There was four guys actually in stone car, trying to, the car was already on, trying to move it. So one of the guys struggled with him and I said that they were been attacking him and this guy tried to, you know. You know, Stone Boy and his management have officially lodged a complaint against Bulldog for assault and theft at the Nima police station.